Matt Turner made four out of six saves in a 2-0 loss to Tottenham, but uh, oof, he's been kind of struggling here as of late, and Emmanuel Sabi scored a brace against Nice. It was his first goals in Ligue But guys, I want to focus on the goalkeepers because Matt Turner is man number one for the U.S. men's national team at Nottingham Forest. And I, I think with how he's been doing as of late, it's maybe creating a little bit of a question as to what does this goalkeeper room really look like for the U.S. men's national team and how much confidence is there at the moment as Nigel has already given Charlie the, <laughs> a look. I'm just smiling. I, well, I'm just smiling, my colleague. Okay. So yeah, Nigel's so happy let, to see. Let me get into this, okay? Let Chuck cook. We're... I need to hear this. <laughs> Matt Turner is the U.S. number one, okay? He went to Nottingham Forest to prove that he can be a number one in the English Premier League. Mm -hmm. it, hasn't, it hasn't gone according to plan, right? His form, I think, is decision-making. But we know how good of a keeper he is. Shot stopper, first and foremost, he is superb. He is elite shot stopper. Building out of the back, maybe not where we, he would want to be or where Arteta would want him to be, which is why he made the move, because he wasn't going to play, because his feet are not good enough in terms of if you're going to com compete with a, 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 a Raya, for instance, at Arsenal. So I have confidence that Matt Turner will come good, that he will be the number one, because right now the depth chart it is weak. Yeah. It, at the end of the day, it is weak. There's no one we pushing that. We were all having a conversation trying to name the best American there, there keepers is, there playing is no even domestically. For the first time in a long time, that list isn't stacked. And, but I will say, a negative for uh, Matt Turner, who, again, you know, I, I hate to say this, but if he's not good enough for Arsenal with his feet and distributing the ball out of the back, isn't that the way Berhalter wants to play? Isn't that a bad sign for his standing as the number one for U.S. men's soccer, along with the fact that when he does get on the pitch for Nottingham Forest, it's not a great look? He's making wild mistakes? Well, then guess what? You don't play as much as you want out of the back with your goalkeeper. And if you look at the World Cup against England, and I go back to that, mm -hmm. he used his feet. Mm -hmm. he, he came out 30 oh, no, he's yards from goal. Capable. He's, he's capable he's of doing capable. it, sure. But if it's not a strong point, if he's not able to do it consistently, is that the guy you really want? And I do, I do believe he's our number one, and I, I, will believe, I do believe he will settle. At the end of the day, I don't care about my keeper's feet. That is not why you're in the goal, no. to no, build them no, back. No, 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 I know. say that, no, Charlie. I want, no, I, Charlie, no, the no, game's wrong. changed so you much. Are, yeah, it has. Exactly. It has. You are wrong. I'm, I'm with Chuck Charlie. here because first and foremost, you need your goalie to stop the ball from going yes, in the back no, of the net. It's, That's no. their primary the objective. The in the US. It's the evolution of the position. I'm not saying it's not important. I'm just saying it's not the priority. It's like nowadays you look at Or like the top priority. Center backs now, the biggest thing to be a center back was head it and kick it. That's what they cared about, be dominant in the air. If you can't play with your feet as a centre-back now the majority of the time, you're not playing for the top 1% of teams. You're not going to That's be there. Facts. It's the evolution no, of your Nigel, position. I'm going to ask you a question and now. Also, how, how good is Ramsdale's feet? How good is Mike Mignon's feet? How good is Thibaut Courtois' feet? If you could play to their feet, were you telling me that you have complete confidence that they can... Evade, they are okay, evade a striker they, coming at them. They might play not under have the best feet, but they are tremendous shot stoppers. And for the team that they're in at the moment, yeah, but you're saying something, but Matt Turner is not a tremendous shot stopper right he now. Is. That's just the reality. He's not. He, but not he's at not that showing kind of right level. level. My, he's that, not showing my it. My point, when Matt Turner is confident, he is an elite shot stopper. Elite. So I, I think that's an, a good elite. conversation to stopper. have, though, and that is with this, nat, with this U.S. men's national team, if confidence is so important for how they are producing on the field, how can we get our number one goalkeeper in a position where he is feeling more confident in Matt yes. Turner, or how can we get this entire goalkeeper me, room that is either not consistently playing or is not confident? Let me say, from my opinion – Look outside, looking in, again, for me, it goes to what Nico's dad said in the documentary. It's about, for me, the personality aspect, where Charlie's generation, these guys have an edge about them. There's that extra desire. There's that extra kind of that, that oh, fighting from mentality. Kicking it yeah, kicking, kicking it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that fighting desire. This young generation don't have that. Charlie's right. Matt Turner's got great ability. But everything we're saying, Charlie can believe in Matt all he wants from sitting here. 
Matt has to believe in himself and go out there and show, show it. it. You don't no think he does? No one but Matt can do it. You, you, and no, but that, that show it part, that, he's right. Have that edge, but he has to he's show right. it consistently. Yeah. Like Matt has to and say, mm -hmm. I'm good enough. I'm number one. I don't care what you think. You can call it arrogance, whatever it is, but you have to have it. Brad Friedel had it. Uh, Tim no, Howard no had doubt. it. No doubt. Guzan had it, and I met, I met Guzan when he was young, came in there, and Guzan bought into the culture Wait, where we had to, we battered. Do we, do we think then that th this is a bigger issue of personality and just a, a generation, a mindset of a generation, or is there something that we can identify in the development guys, of the we'll goalkeeper? Guys, 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 we'll you guys are changing the, com the, t the, t the topic completely. Matt Turner is a realist. If you asked Matt Turner and you went, hey, are you playing well? He'd say, no. I put my hand up. There is, there, there's a point of being a realist and staying humble, yes, but there's a point of you have to have the arrogance to say, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to do this. That's and, what it is. And He's that's, not doing why, it. why do you think he bet on himself to go to Nottingham Forest? He knows Nottingham, Nottingham Forest isn't a back line that's going to prevent high quality chances from, okay. from being. If you know, okay, okay, if you anymore. know that, right, he has the, the we, we said it, and I'm just from watching, outside watching it, that clearance there, as soon as he made that pass, you could see straight away. Confidence was gone. And then when the shot comes, a shot that he should save, it puts the magnifying glass in him to say, wait, you can make a mistake, no problem. You ain't got great feet. If it wasn't for Onana, Inter Milan would have never made that Champions League final that they did because he was sensational with the saves that he was making. And Charlie might not like it, you need feet as a goalkeeper, but the evolution of goalkeeping has changed. And one of the big contributors for me was um, De Hoya when we started to see goalkeepers making a lot of saves with their feet, which was something that we've never seen before. Because mostly goalkeepers go their hand. Now you see them a lot doing a lot with going in and using what, what their feet. Charlie and I were both not saying that, that playing with the feet wasn't position. important. It was... Every position has changed and evolved. Yeah, from I what would even say, see. you mentioned Thibaut Courtois, play, keepers like that, as incredible shot stoppers as they are, that they're not, their game isn't focused on playing with their feet. They also are passing out to players of a slightly higher ilk than we are. We need our full squad to play at, at the top level in order for us to succeed as the U.S. And that starts with creating that space that starts with playing out of the back. I think it's a little more important than you're giving it credence uh, to. No, I'm not saying it's not important. I'm not saying he can't I play with his feet. I said it's a little more important what than what you're saying. What I'm saying is, let's get back to Matt Turner being an elite shot stopper and not relying on him to bail the back. He didn't play at Arsenal, yet he came to the World Cup and was phenomenal. He was, one, there the was one, no one, question mark. No, no, he was phenomenal. Charlie, the, one, the one or two chances he got, this is my point about this is the pressure that comes with it. These kids need to understand this is what you're going into. He mm -hmm. got one or two opportunities at Arsenal and it wasn't great. He played in Europe against the uh, Sporting and then the next game he didn't play. They put Ramsdale straight back in because Arteta's a manager who's your manager. Didn't see or saw something in it where to say he's not good enough or not mentally strong enough to handle these situations. Like, this is what you... When you're young to become a football player, you dream about playing at Anfield and on Trafford. When you get there, I'm not going to sit back to say, oh my God, I'm at Anfield, I made it. No, it's, I'm at Anfield, this is what I dreamt about. Now, I'm going to make sure I leave a mark on someone and people are going to remember my name. That was my mindset. That is the mindset I feel that's slightly lacking from some of these how, generations. How, I would agree how, that it should have gone better say, at Nottingham Forest, no? Yeah, it should be going better a, at A hundred percent, but, okay. but how can you sit here and say that they don't have that mindset? Not that they don't live up to expectations, but you think Tyler Adams went to Leeds and Bournemouth, I know he's injured, but you think he doesn't have that mindset that's, and that mentality? That's Tyler Adams. I like Tyler Adams. You think I Weston like McKinney? In him. Weston like, McKinney who's saying, uh, okay. he's like, get out, I don't want you here. I, I and he like, stayed on, and he's but, playing. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about Matt right now. For those two guys, they do have that edge in them. And I like Tyler Adams. I like Weston. Weston probably wasn't in shape when he went to Leeds. He should have been in a better physical shape for the Premier League than he was. But they've got that edge in them. For me, I like Matt. Matt is a nice kid and he seems like a nice guy. And he needs to lose that niceness and get that edge in him. And Saka, Saka's a nice guy, but he gets kicked left, right and center. I said it before, if I was Saka, I would two foot someone once in a while to let them know I ain't the one <laughs> to play with. Zinedine Zidane was a nice player, but you see that edge in him. Dennis Bergkamp <laughs> was a very nice yeah. player, but you see that edge in him. That you perfect? need that edge in you. The best players have that little bit of edge in them. Yeah, no one is denying, I think, what you just said is perfect. Matt Turner is an excellent goalkeeper, clearly lacking some confidence at the moment, but the ingredients are him. all there. All I know is I back him. Yeah, I just think yeah. he needs I never said I didn't back him.